Hello, my name is Falk Wolski and this is Lowcoder. Our aim is to provide you the very best, most modern and versatile application development platform that exists. And so we develop a lot of features. Every some weeks we release and magic functions appearing <laughs> everywhere. Some of them we really need to describe and therefore here is our series of tutorial videos so you can access all the value that is already possible and find also the magic hidden functions that are already offered inside of our platform. And now let's start. In some uh, cases, it is very important to call one data query after some else data query is finished. There are multiple ways to do so, and I just created a very clumsy scenario, but you can get uh, how it will work. So in general, we assume that we have continents data, and we can just call this data query, and it works. In this case, it gives and answers me continents data. It will fill here my uh, selection for the table later on, and I can use it as a filter for this table. Now, the table itself should not have all the continents, but all the data like the countries and so on. So I would like to make sure that when the first query is succeeded and gives me the results back, only then I will call the next data query. You can achieve this quite easily because you have here the trigger uh, and you say either if inputs change or page load, so it will automatically start as soon as the application comes up. This may be interesting for the first query, but not for the second. So we change it to only when you're triggered manually. And manually means you have uh, opportunities via event handler or via code when you have uh, your query dot run command. So we have the first query continents uh, once. Okay, we can have an event handler here on success. You see it under uh, every setting you have the last event handler. And now in case of the query did run successful, give you a result, you can do something and you just can run another data query, which will be then the second one. This will be here, my countries query. And you see that by that setting, I chained the data queries so I can wait for the result of the first data query. And only then on success, I can uh, run the next data query. Even I can go more deep, I can look that this query only runs if in the first data query some expected result was uh, to find there. And uh, I also can make sure that I have a small time offset. So I can say, please, the second data query after the first did run, wait a second, wait a minute or whatever you need as a time. And then you can make sure that only then this query, the second one is triggered. This is very handy to chain data queries. Another way would be to make this all in the JavaScript. You can do it too, but it's a bit harder to follow for the people that may work on the app if it's not only you. So better to stay in this uh, low code approach. But in general, you can also do it here because you have the possibility to say that my country is uh, run only happens after the continents. So we have continents data dot run, something like this. And this run function uh, gives you a so-called promise and you can work then uh, with the promise notation. So only when this, actually it's not run, but run, let me <laughs> not drunk here. And if continent state was run, it gives a promise fulfilled by then, and then you can run here the next data query. That is possible, but Again, I think by the event handlers, you have a better approach for the uh, low code uh, usage of the abilities that it has. And you will always see here that it runs on success. We hope you enjoyed these tutorials. And if you like it, please like it. Share it with your colleagues, with partners and other people that may interest it to create apps really fast.